And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, we bring you a story of jealousy and hatred in a circus aerial act. We call it Gallardo. So now, starring Victor Perrin, here is tonight's suspense play, Gallardo. I am not sure just when it was that I first knew I must kill Nicky. But when I knew, I accepted it and waited. This night, as always before our turn, we had been out in our coveralls and slop shoes for our last-minute check of the rig, testing the guy lines, tightening the screws. We did our work, but now it was not the same between us. We did not meet with our eyes. When we passed each other in the dressing room, we did not speak. Parted down the entrance tunnel to the ring, I saw Nikki slow a moment to wait for Feather. Then he put his arm on her shoulder and leaned over to whisper to her. I saw her smile for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the Galano, the sensational, world-famous aerialists with their daring, dazzling, death the fight performance of the flying jumpies. And the waiting was over. This night I would kill Nicky. I went up the ladder and took my place in the catch trap. Then I watched while Feather climbed to the pedestal board. So graceful, so lovely so cruel. I shut my eyes tight with the pain of loving Feather, and I thought of that day she joined us. Just call me Feather. I am Nicky. This is Rudy Gallardo. Brothers? We are the same as brothers. You don't look alike. I am ugly. Nicky is beautiful. Eh? Oh, I didn't mean that. I... There, now, I do not mean to embarrass you. You see, I know I am ugly. And I have great pride in Nicky's beauty. Rudy, stop that. <laughs> I was raised with Rudy by his family. So. I caught Nicky's first sleep. When I was six and he was nine. Even at nine, one could see I had the shoulders for catching, but could never be a flyer like my father before me. Circus family, huh? In the circus, there have been Gallardos for over 100 years. I joined a circus to get away from a farm in Nebraska. Well, you are recommended by Concello. Yeah, I toured with the big show last season... An act with six girls in Delamy. He was the principal flyer. Mm, he's good. Yeah. Now, here is the setup of our act, Miss Feather. Oh, just Feather. I left my real name in Nebraska. I see. Now, we open with you doing a seat jump, then a fliffy and maybe a double. You do the double. Well, I'll have to work on it. Uh, you will practice. Then we do some passing leaps. I do a double full twister, a cutaway maybe. We'll work it out. Then, of course, I finish with the triple. Oh, I've heard about your triple. Oh, you have? I've heard you're as good as Cordona. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Cordona was the master. Maybe someday I shall be as good. He is better than Cordona. He is the best ever. Rudy, if I am that good, it's only because I have the best catcher ever. <laughs> the flyer is only as good as his catcher, and you are the best. <laughs> you boys have quite a mutual admiration society going, haven't you? Yeah, but this is true. Always there are Rudy's strong wrists, right there when I need them. You use a net, of course. The net is there, yes, but... The net is nothing in Nicky's triple. After the third spin on the breakout, so fast he comes, he would overshoot the apron every time. But we never think about that. There will always be Rudy there to catch me. Nicky had climbed to the pedestal board and was dipping into the rosin. Feather reached for the fly bar, ready for her first leap. As she started her swing, I locked my legs in the uprights and hung head down to catch her. On the catch, I thought of that day we started rehearsals, the first time I caught Feather. 
it was the first time there had ever been bad words between Nikki and me. I remembered that and the things that came after. That's terrible! Come down here! Wait, Feather. What's that? I said come down here! Feather! You too, Rudy. What's eating him? We will see. But don't try a come down drop in the net. Take the rope. Hey, Whitey! Whitey, get a spirit level on that long bar. The frame looks cockeyed. Here. I will help you. Thanks. You handle that net up there like it was a mattress. Oh, no. The net is never friendly. But it is better now than in the old days. In my father's time, the nets were made by fishermen, and they had not set the joints. What's the trouble, Nicky? Why did you call us down? Because I thought it might be interesting to find out from Feather here just what she calls that stunt she favored us with, eh? Well, I'm sorry. It was a flyer we wanted, not a clown. I know it was bad. Bad? Never saw such a welt of uh, arms and legs going in all directions. Well, the first try is bad. I thought you were a flyer. I'll do it again. Yes, you'll do it again and again and again. And you will please not make me sick with such a performance as I just saw. Nikki, do not be so hard on her. Anyone can get rusty. We've got three weeks to get this egg ready. You will please not boss my act. Your act? Feather will rest. You will rehearse. Get up on the fly bar. You cannot order me around. Get up on the fly bar. I'm sorry, Rudy. I guess we better call this rehearsal off. You do not make the decisions. I am Gallardo. Just the same. I am going to my dressing room. Come in. Nikki. What have I done? Rudy, what's the matter with you? I do not know, truly. I do not know. I, I, I never saw you so touchy. To think I would talk to you like that, just the same as my own brother you are. I'm sorry, Nick. That's all right. But, Rudy, watch it, huh? It's no good for a catcher to get jumpy. It is just the last few days since that woman has been here. Feather? Yes. Did you ever see anything so beautiful? And yet there is something. I, I do not know. I, I cannot explain it. You, you cannot reach her. Like, like her eyes. Have you noticed her eyes? Well, of they course. They are I... big and yellow, like the eyes of a cat. And you look into them for a... a deepness that should be there and see only that they are big and yellow. Oh, come now, Rudy. And you wonder if maybe the deepness is not for you to see. So you look again and again, and it becomes a frantic searching for something that should be there. I'm afraid I don't understand. I guess I do not understand either, but she bothers me. Rudy, she's only been here a few days. Yes, that is it, Nicky. It is because she is new. <laughs> My friend, Feather is as old as Eve. Rudy, well, don't jump like that. I'm not going to bite you. You startled me. I... I was thinking about that cat. I think you're scared of me. We've been on the road for over a month and you've hardly talked to me. No, it is not that. It, well, it... maybe you're shy. Is that it? Maybe. <laughs> oh, Rudy, you're cute. Hey, I've seen you staring into that cage before. What's the fascination? I do not know. She's lovely. I think you're in love with that cat. Did you know a black panther like that one killed Nicky's father? No. Not many people work with black panthers. Nicky's father had eight tigers and the panther, which he loved. A beautiful animal. One night in the ring, the panther ripped him open. Oh. When they brought him to the dressing room, already dead, Nicky's mother looked at him, then took a gun to the menagerie and shot each cat between the eyes. Then she turned the gun on herself. That is when my mother took Nicky to raise. Oh, that's horrible. Hmm? That is life. Things happen. But why do you come so often to stare into this cage? I do not know. She is so beautiful. I cannot figure out her treachery. You're a strange one. We're moving tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Rudy. Don't you think I'm beautiful? 
Oh, yes. Well, what's the matter? Don't you like me? Rudy, don't you like me? Hmm? Feather. Well, that's better. I don't like to be ignored. It bothers me. Feather. Beautiful feather. Oh, Rudy. You're cute. You're real cute. Hey, Rudy, hand me that towel, huh? Catch. Yeah, thanks. Well, it's a good show tonight, huh? Yes. Your best clothes are out. I'm going into town tonight. We're moving tomorrow. I know it. Where are you going? Huh? What are you going to do tonight yourself? I think I will go play pinochle with Princess Olga. Princess Olga? <laughs> She's over 70. Rudy, why don't you get yourself a girl? Have a little fun, huh? You have a girl, Nikki? Yeah, I'm taking Feather into town. You're taking Feather? Yeah. We're going to have a little fun. You like Feather? Oh, she's quite a girl. Are you in love with her? No. Oh, maybe I am. I love her. What? I love Feather. But you hardly talk to her. But what do you mean? I guess I have loved her from the first time I saw her. Today she followed me into the menagerie after matinee. I kissed her. She wanted me to. Oh, Rudy, she was teasing Don't you. say that. All right, all right. Don't get sore. But look, sh she's my girl. Why should you have everything? What's the matter with you, Rudy? Maybe I'm jealous. You know, lots of times I don't understand you. Right now, I don't understand you at all. This is silly. There shouldn't be this trouble between us. You are right, Nikki. It is not good. But the trouble was there, and it grew until now, this night, when I knew that I must kill Nikki. I knew how it must be done, in the triple. Then there would be no mistake. Just a little higher on my backswing, just a little slower coming in, a part of a second, and then, after the third spin, on the breakout, Nikki would reach... And I would not be there. You are listening to Gallardo, tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Now, a public service message from CBS Radio. In time of flood or fire or other disaster, feeling sorry for the victims is not enough. When disaster strikes, someone must be on the spot and on the job to help. With your support, the Red Cross will be there. Join and serve your local Red Cross chapter now. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Victor Perrin, starring in tonight's production, Gallardo. A tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. We were midway through the act, preparing for the passing leap. It is a flashy thing, not difficult, but our timing had to be perfect. I sat on the bar of the catch trap and checked the tape on my wrists. Feather and Nicky dipped into the rosin... I waited for the signal, and I remembered. I remembered we'd been out about three months when we hit the storm. Rain, rain, day and night. We played to empty houses and lived in mud. Then came the wind that ripped the canvas and splintered the king pole. We had to cancel we could not move on because a washout had closed the roads to all but emergency traffic and our wagons could not get through. This is not good for circus people to sit and wait 
Allow me to remind you again, Princess Olga. It was your trick. You draw. Oh, 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 yeah. Rudy, for goodness sake, stop that drumming with your fingers. Sorry. And what is that, please? My melt. You melt before you draw. You have already drawn a card. Rodolfo Gallardo, I have had enough of your sauciness. I have been playing pinnacle for twice as many years as you have been born now. Mind your manners. I am sorry. I should hope so. Forget the cards. I'll make us some tea. I visited the stables this morning. My horses are as ill-tempered as the rest of us. Uh, it is this waiting. This circus must move to breathe free. We'll have tea ready soon. Rudy. Yes? I have known you since you were born. And your parents before you. Nikki, too. I was on the show. I remember so well. I was ready for my turn. Waiting in the tunnel. That night the panther... Well... Anyway, I'm not just a meddlesome old woman. Is it true what I hear? What is that? That Nikki's running with that woman and drinking. A flyer does not drink during season. They are saying that. That Nikki goes into the towns with that woman and comes back drunk. You didn't know? No. No, I guess Nikki has not had much time for me lately. Oh, that woman. She's bad. Feather? That gin come lately. She doesn't belong. She's not certain. She is a good flyer. She is a perfect machine. The precision of her movements is like a mathematical truth, but there is something missing. What? Heart? Heart. She has no heart. She is beautiful. Ah! Well, all right. So she is. This is no reason for Nicky to lose his head. Let him have his fun. He is a beautiful man. Yes, he is. But drinking at late hours are not for a flyer. Not during season. I will talk to him. Do that, Rudy. I don't want to meddle, but do that. I have been looking for you, Nicky. What are you doing? I had some money locked in my trunk. I wanted to get it. I'm going into town. Into town? Whitey has permission to take a truck through to get supplies. I'm going with him. This... This waiting is driving me crazy. Are you taking Feather? No. What difference would it make if I was? No difference, I guess. Rudy, why don't you try minding your own business? What huh? do you mean? You're always clucking around like, like, like an old mother hen. No, I am not. I have hardly talked to you lately. The way you look at me, I don't like it. What are you saying, Nikki? I haven't seen enough of you to even know if what they are saying is true. They are saying... Tell me, what is it that they are saying? That huh? you have been drinking. Is it true? Is it true? I am not a child, Rudy. They say you take Feather into town and that you come back drunk. Ah, that's it. You are jealous. No, I am not. You are. You are jealous because Feather prefers me. Huh? That is not what counts now. A flyer does not drink during the season. I do my act, do I not? I'm good. The triple? I'm as good as Codona. You say so yourself. You are splendid, Nicky, but you... Can't afford one mistake. You make me sick. I know you, Rudy. You're jealous of that, too. What? That I am the flyer while you hang in the catch trap. Yes, you are Gallardo, but the applause is for me, eh? Oh, no, Nicky. Come on, be honest, Rudy. You hate me. Nicky, no. Oh, no. Hi. Oh, I gotta have somebody to talk to. I don't know how you boys feel about it, but if we don't move out of this soggy dump pretty soon, I'm going nuts. Hello, Feather. Hey, Nicky, you're all dressed up. Where are you going? Into town. White is taking a truck in. Take me with you? I'm afraid I can't. Oh, please, Nicky. I want to get away from this place. It's not possible. Nicky, please. No! Nicky! Well, how do you like that? Feather, your clothes, they are wet. What else? In case you'd like to know, it's raining. Look at these shoes, soaked. No. What's the matter? Your shoes. Well? On the makeup shelf. So? Take them off. What? Take them off. Rudy, what's eating you? It is bad luck. 
Oh, I think this rain's driving everybody nuts. In a tent show, shoes on the makeup shelf bring bad luck. All circus people know that. Honestly, if that isn't the silliest thing I ever heard, you circus people... Never mind, Feather. Forget it. <sighs> oh, Rudy. You're cute. Why don't you come over to my wagon and keep me company? I have some wine. Thank you, Feather. I, I, I do not drink. Well, that's I... all right. Come and keep me company anyway. I don't want to be alone. This rain. I, I would like that. Oh, uh, wait, my shoes. Here. Here, let me help you. What's the matter, Rudy? Matter? You're shaking. What? Why, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rudy. Well, come on. How do you like that Nicky going off like that without me? There now. That little wine didn't hurt you, did it? <laughs> now we'll have one together. Here, let me fill your glass. No, 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 I don't think so, Feather. No more. Don't be silly. <sighs> I feel much better since I got those wet clothes off and into something comfortable. Come on, Rudy, we'll drink a toast. To us. To, to us? To you and to me? Oh, Feather. Rudy, for heaven's sakes, quit moaning at me like that. Don't. Do not make fun of me. I love you. Oh, Rudy. Hey, please, Feather. I love you, but you are Nikki's girl. Say, who does he think he is going off like that without me? I would never leave you. <laughs> no, I guess you wouldn't. But Nicky leaves, and then you are here with me. He can't get away with that stuff with me. Without Nicky, there would be you and me. I ought to show him a thing no, or two. No, Nicky. Who does he think Just he is, us. anyway? Who More does wine. Who does he think he is? Feather? Feather? Huh? What? More wine. I I want to drink again to us. You were right. You aren't used to this stuff, are you, Rudy? It is nice. Yeah. It is nice to be warm inside and happy with us. No, Nicky. Just us. That Nicky. To you, my beautiful panther. What? You are beautiful like the panther is beautiful. Well, I've been called a lot of things. Yellow but... eyes, like the panther. You're tight. What? You're drunk. <laughs> is that it? It is nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rudy, you're cute. I have not known much happiness such as this, to, to sit comfortably with a woman as lovely as you, to be warm inside. It's good. It is very pleasant. Hey, feather. If you can be ready in three minutes, you can go into town. We'll be down by the cook tent. Three minutes now, we don't wait. Nicky. Feather, stay here. What? You aren't going with him. Of course I'm going with him, you clown. The storm passed. The roads cleared. And we moved on to the next town. And the next. And the next. And always with me was the memory of the warmth and pleasantness of that moment with the woman, the cruel and beautiful woman, and the knowing that as long as there was Nicky, this, this could not be for me. Until finally this night, when I knew Nicky must die. We passed the signal to time the passing leap. Feather reached for the fly bar, and I locked in the uprights, ready for the catch. First Feather, then Nicky, then Feather, then Nicky, Feather, Nicky, faster, faster, Feather, Nicky, like a juggler, like a crazy juggling act, Feather, Nicky, but wait, something was wrong, Feather, Nicky, it was Nicky, his timing was off, Nicky! He came in too fast at the end of his swing. I felt that my arms were tearing out, but I held. And in that second, I knew Nicky, my brother, my friend. I could not kill Nicky. 
what madness had been on me. It was that woman. She did not belong. She was not circus, feather, Nicky. Nicky was taking too much lift. He was going to... took too much lift. He came in high and crashed me. In the circus, for over 100 years, there have been Gallardos. I am the first Gallardo to tend the cats, the lions, the tigers, the panther. I find it pleasant enough, but of course... I often think how fine it would be to climb the ladder, to take my place in the catch trap, wait for the signal, lock in the uprights, and get ready for the catch, perhaps even in the big show with Nicky and Feather. Now there is nothing but to watch them. And this brace, I must wear this brace for always. Since that night, Nicky crashed me, and I fell. I no longer have the shoulders for catching. Well, that is life. Things happen. Suspense in which Victor Perrin starred with Tony Barrett in tonight's presentation of Gallardo. Next week, we bring you the story of a day in the life of a woman who awaits an execution. We call it The Murderess. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed in Hollywood by Anthony Ellis. Tonight's suspense story was written by Ann Dowd. The music was composed by Lucian Morawieck and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Featured in the cast were Eleanor Tannen, Bill Justine, and Virginia Gregg. Tomorrow night, over most of these same stations, the FBI in Peace and War takes you along when they crack open another crime case. And though you're just an innocent bystander, you'll be in on every single thrill in this fast-moving demonstration of the law in action. Don't miss the excitement as the FBI in peace and war goes out to get its man at this time tomorrow night. Stay tuned for five minutes of CBS News to be followed on most of these same stations by the Jack Carson Show. Thursday nights, there's action in the 21st Precinct on the CBS Radio Network.